there, there was a lot of times where I got finalized for a particular role and then last minute I was taken off, I was pulled down and uh, another film actor got the part. Hello and welcome. I am Tanya Garg for India.com. And today we have with us someone really special. You know, you open TV, he's there. You open your OTT, he's there. And now he will be there on your big screen. Well, almost there. We have with us the supremely talented and very versatile, very charming Vivek Dhaiya with us today. Hi, Vivek. Hi, Tanya. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Very good. That is a pleasure. <laughs> Uh, so, first of all, congratulations on your debut. Yeah, thank you. The poster. Yeah, this one special. Poster, yeah, it looks amazing. The motion poster looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so, you know, I think all your fans would love an insight about your character in Chal Zindagi. Yeah. So, so basically, uh, uh, my character is called Sahil. And he is a college-going student. Uh, he's just finished his final year and now he has big dreams of going and exploring and traveling and all of that on bikes. So he basically takes his friend with him from college and he says, Ke bata kahan chalega? and he says north. So he says, chal south. Chalte hain. So he is uh, he's a must mola. He's a free spirited guy, uh, very similar to what I am personally also. Uh, and this is probably the first time that uh, the, the audience or the fans will get an insight to Vivek Dhaya's personality because he's actually very close to the real me. Yeah. That's great. So how was all the traveling, you know, in Leh Ladakh? And I'm sure it's some college trip, trip dream come true. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. You know, so the whole idea of doing this film was because I had actually done very serious roles in the past. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was kind of looking for something lighthearted, something more fun and, you know, like a slice of life kind of a story. And so this one came about. And um, when I got to know that this is all on bikes, that we are, we'd be traveling across different states, uh, Rajasthan, Chandigarh, Kullu Manali and Leh Ladakh. I just pounced on it. I said, when, how often does this happen? First of all, there's never been a film made on bike travel in India. Uh, it's very unique in its own way. Uh, and then secondly, it's um, uh, it, it's got Sanjay Mishraji, which he's he's a powerhouse of talent and he is he was with us and it was, you know, uh, the, the bonding happened right on the first minute that we met each other and we started work, uh, working on our spontaneity or impromptu scenes and, you know, uh, a lot of improvisation that happened. So it's it's been a great journey, uh, a very good learning experience also. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you mentioned Sanjay Mishra ji, and as you said, I'm sure just like you mentioned that you had a great time working with him. I wanted to ask you that he's this powerhouse of talent, as you already mentioned. Do you believe that uh, he's given this enough credit in this industry for his work? Maybe not before, but now, yes. Yeah. I feel that wherever he goes, I mean, uh, when I shot with him and we were in Manali, I remember, he had a massive fan following. So uh, people love him for the the rawness or the, the ordinary that he brings to the table. Yeah. You know, and uh, he's doing, he's a super busy actor. And uh, if it was not for the credit, then you know, he'd be struggling, but because he, his talent is being recognized everywhere that he goes and uh, he's doing, I don't know, like four, six, eight films in a year. And uh, that's that's because of his talent. What about the time, you know, when you do a supernatural show like Kavach? Years later, do you feel like when you look back, are there any apprehensions as an actor in your heart and mind that maybe like, you know, I shouldn't have done something like that? No, not at all. I, I never, I never have. Uh, concerning my past, I, I have never questioned yeah. or never uh, thought why did I choose to do this or I, I don't have regrets because it's taken me somewhere. It's it's brought me here, yeah. and uh, life's good. You know, everything that you do, the moment you step out of the house, and you take a step towards going left or right, it'll lead you somewhere. Uh, you'll never go negative. You'll never be like, uh, you know. Uh, so, once one step leads to another, 
and it's 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 a personal journey and you make choices of course it's always uh, you always have that thought that what if i had done this in a parallel universe if you could see uh, what if instead of going right if i'd gone left what how would life be then of course definitely uh so you know uh, vivek a lot of people who have transitioned from tv tvs to movies have talked about being stereotyped as tv actors uh, how was your experience in regards to that uh so this happens to everyone yeah i think most people because we we keep talking also to other actors fellow actors who've been wanting to eventually do films and i've had to take a sabbatical i've had to say no to a lot of tv shows that was coming my way and good uh, handsome packages pay packages and i had to turn them down because uh, eventually this is where i wanted to be i wanted to see myself on the big screen and i wanted to um, work on my craft and create some some fantastic work that i'd be proud of in the future maybe you know my kids or the next generation can still look up and say that you know what this guy did a decent job so i uh, uh, i i won't lie that uh, it doesn't exist it exists there, there was a lot of times where i got finalized for a particular role and then last minute i was taken off i was pulled down and uh, another film actor got the part uh, who was not even um, as experienced or who, who didn't bring the skill set that i brought to the table but because of the tv tag uh, so it has been unfair but i'm i'm hoping for a future wherein actors are able to transition between tv uh, films and web very smoothly very comfortably and there are, there are no taggings yeah uh, i long to see that happening so you know but then you have this amazing actor at your home your wife divyanka so do you to have these light hearted banters you know when you tell her you know i'm i am a better actor or you, or that she tells you you know that i'm a better performer do you to have these moments no no no, no. not like that i mean yeah. that'll be very that'll be very uh, pompous and arrogant yeah. uh, if we say that no we never we never have that but we usually do discuss uh, creative uh, point of views uh, whether we are watching content or when we are watching uh, we studying a character when we watching something from that analytical point of view and think that you know this could have been done sometimes uh, there's a peg from a film that we take and say okay what if you know this did this and if it resulted in this and then we contribute and then eventually it becomes a different film in our head uh, so but it's it's good to have a partner who's from the industry who's who's equally creative and who understands the business also can you not tell <laughs> look look i'm i'm just i'm just sporting a beach look wherever i go these days all right but i thought you were on this bike so you would have fun you know going on to no no the bike so the bike yeah being on a bike in the mountains is yeah. amazing thank you so so much it was lovely interacting with you once again congratulations on your big debut thank you thank you